In After Effects and Cinema 4D, you may have seen shutter angle settings that look like this. By default, they're set to 180 degrees, which is, of course, a straight line. This terminology is used because of old mechanical spinning shutters, like in film cameras, and as the shutter would spin, it would block the light and then let light in. So the spinning shutter creates the exposure time for each frame. You have a frame rate of, let's say, 24 frames per second. But the shutter is closed half the time with a 180 degree shutter, so the actual exposure time per frame is 1 48th of a second. So you get a motion blur for 1 48th of a second exposure time, and it looks like this. Wait, let's go back. This is what it looks like. If you compare this to a rendered frame with no motion blur, you can see that the 180 degree has the motion blur, the other one doesn't. But let's pick a different shutter angle, let's say 295 degrees. With a 295 degree shutter, each frame is exposed for longer, so the exposure time is closer to 1 30th of a second instead of 1 48th. So the motion blur looks like this. So if we put all three of these on screen, you can see no motion blur and then 180 degrees and then 295 degrees. You can see the variation in motion blur between them. The frame rate is still the same, it's still 24 frames per second, but the amount of motion blur can vary. So the next time you see settings like these, try out different angles and choose one that creates the right amount of blur for the story that you're trying to tell.